In this video, I want to show you how to create beautiful, professional looking signing blocks that you can add inside of your contract, whether you're using DocuSign, whether you're using HelloSign, Adobe Sign, whatever sign. And the biggest mistake that I see happening really is people using this. But the problem is that depending on how much content there is in your contract, then your signature block might break over two pages. And so that's why you want to put this in a table because you can make it so that it doesn't break across two pages. If you're wondering who I am, my name is Sofian Saudi. I used to be a DocuSign employee back in 2019. And since 2020, I founded Solution Consulting, where we help organizations that have lots of paperwork automate their document workflows. If your organization spends a lot of time in contract and manual copy paste, there is a huge opportunity for you to save time and money by automating your workflow. And this is something that comes down to learning how to map out your process, building your document template, your DocuSign templates maybe, as well as integrating DocuSign and your other eSign products inside of the apps that you use every day. All of this will allow you to automatically generate your documents, track their status, save those documents where they need to go and even be renamed the way that you like. And you can also even retrieve the information entered by your signers in the form fields back inside of the apps that you use every day. And all of this can happen instantly, automatically without you having to lift a finger. If this is something that you're interested in, you simply need to learn how to map out your workflow, build your document template, and then configure those templates into e-signature templates so that you can integrate those e-signature templates in the apps that you use every day. If this is something you don't have the time or willingness or energy to do, you can outsource this work to us and book a strategy session using it down below. During this call, we'll analyze your workflow and map out the best implementation plan to automate your business process. Now you can simply download the templates for those different kinds of signature blocks. I've got these ones as well, but for now, let's go back to learning how to build your signature blocks in a way that looks professional and doesn't take you hours. So what we'll do is we'll use this employment offer uh, template to create our signature block. So I'm going to delete the one that's here and we're going to start from scratch. So what you want to do is insert a table and we're going to count the number of rows depending on how much information you want to show. So the typically the top column, the top row is for the party name. Then you have the signature. Then you have the person's name, the actual person signing, then the title and then the date. And then we need that twice, once for the employer and once for the employee. Once you get here, you can just leave maybe here employer and here employee. And then here we're going to write signature so this is going to be a placeholder that will be replaced with data right once you generate your document feel free to look at the docusign mail merge document generation capabilities then you have the uh, full name or signatory name however you want to call it the title and then you have the date signed and then paste it here if you want this to look a little bit nicer if you want to make the top row in bold font and you also want to add some kind of fill in colors so this is how it looks now the problem if we leave it like this is that if we remove some lines we're going to end up with a table that breaks over two pages and you never want this to happen and so in order for you to uh, solve that problem what you want to do is to select your table and click on table properties and then uncheck the allow row to break across two pages. Then you want to select the line before the table plus the entire table and you want to click on paragraph and then you want to select keep with next and keep lines together and click OK. And this way, the table will either be always here or on the previous page. If I delete this, there you go. You might actually want to do it with this because if you want uh, this entire block to stay together, you might want to do it like this. So, you know, use, uh, click on the, on the previous lines that you want to keep 
with your table. And so in this case, you need to update it. But this is how you ensure that your uh, signature blocks look great and they don't break over two pages. Now we can make them look a little bit nicer. Um, actually, what I would do is I would insert a line, an extra line for the signature um, because it takes more space. And you might want to align your uh, text for the signature at the bottom left. There you go. And delete this line. So we'll need to add the space before. There we go. And so that looks nice. Now, if you want to make it look even nicer, you can decide to have your lines start only after the label. And so to do that, we need to insert another column. And so we can do it like this. And here we'll do the same. Insert to the right. That is my favorite way of doing it. And here we essentially just hide all the borders. So we say no borders at all except for the bottom border of each rows. And you do it one at a time. And I think that this looks pretty nice. But obviously this is a personal taste preference. Um, and in this case, if you were to do it like this, then I would think that this doesn't need to be filled in with any color. Otherwise it looks a little bit weird. And that's it. And then if I go back one step up, then my table doesn't break. And if you want to add an anchor, I would suggest to use human resources here, or maybe use some, write something here called, this is my anchor. And you make this in white font, so it can't be seen. And then you can use the auto place functionality of DocuSign to automatically place the signature fields based on where the document is. So if you end up with a document that's three or four pages, then your signature fields will always be on the right spot. And this is how you can create those polished signature blocks. If you're interested in learning how you can automate your workflow further using our help, DocuSign Automation Consultants will be happy to talk to you. You can book a consultation using the link just down below. During the call, we will analyze your document creation process, where it needs to be tracked, stored, signed, and will provide you with the best implementation roadmap for your unique needs. I will see you in the next video and until then, happy signing.